Here are two ways to lace Nike Air Force Ones so they slip straight on. The first is a loose lacing style and the second is a bar lacing style. Depending on which you like the look of, timestamps for each are down below. Let's get into it. Begin by taking the little Air Force Ones tag and lacing your two lace ends up through each of the holes from underneath, just like this. Then pull it all the way down so it reaches the bottom there. And make sure it's facing the right way up before we thread it into the two very bottom eyelets of your Air Force Ones. Go ahead and thread your lace ends down into the very bottom eyelet, pull it all the way through and make sure the little metal tag is sitting the right way up. Then do the other side. Flip it over, there we go. Now we're gonna start with this lace end, take it across the sneaker tongue and down into the second eyelet up from the bottom on this side. We wanna go down into it from above and not up through it from underneath. So make sure you get that bit right. Just like that, put this one out of the way. Swap to the other lace, take it down into the corresponding eyelet on the other side from above just like that. Then we're gonna keep a hold of this one, bring it into the third eyelet up from the bottom on this side, just like that, put it out of the way. And we're gonna keep going th with this pattern all the way up the shoe. Let's just go slowly, put the video on half speed if you need to, just keep pausing and making sure you're getting it right. And we're gonna keep a hold of this lace, bring it over into the next eyelet. Way. Swap back to this one and into the next eyelet here. Now, when you reach the little tongue loop, just thread your lace end through it. it. Can be a little bit fiddly. Just pull it through like this, and then take the lace and go down into the eyelet from above, just like we've been doing. Make sure there's no twists, take the other lace and we just thread it through the tongue loop to sit on top of the other lace that's already through there. And then down into this open eyelet here. Keep a hold of this lace, bring it over, through. Now your Air Force Ones might have more or less eyelets than me depending on your shoe size but what you should do is when you reach the very top eyelets stop here and what we're going to do is take our laces and we're going to go up into them from underneath this time not down into them from above. Just like that and up into it on this side from underneath not down from above making sure there's no twists. Now you'll see that these lace ends are super long and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna shorten them until they're just around about the right size for the loose lace style. And again on the other side, keep pulling it all the way through until it's the length that you like. And then we're going to take these two extra lace bits here and we're literally just going to slip them behind the sneaker tongue. And they will just sit on top of your foot and they won't bother your foot at all and you'll be able to slip your feet in and out, no problem. Repeat this lacing style on the other shoe and you'll have a really awesome pair of loose laced Air Force Ones. Begin by taking the little metal dubre and threading your lace down into it and then up into the other side, just like this. And then what I like to do is make sure to grab the two lace ends and pull the little metal AF1 tag down to the very end so that you can make sure the laces are of equal length. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna begin by threading the laces down into each eyelet at the very bottom. 
of the sneaker. That's one. And remember, you can pause if you like. It's just catch up to me. Just like that. When they're nice and threaded, just double check that they are the same length. Mine are, and then we'll move on. So what we're gonna do now is pop this lace out the way here just for a moment. Take this lace and bring it into the very next eyelet up, second one from underneath, just as I'm doing here. And we'll take this lace, pop it out the way like that. And then we're gonna bring this guy over the sneaker tongue and down into the second eyelet from the bottom on the right. We're gonna slowly pull that across, making sure the lace is looking nice and flat. And we'll have our second little bar there. Then we're gonna move this lace out of the way, just like this, and bring the other guy back that hasn't been barred yet. And we're gonna take it up into the third eyelet from the bottom on the right hand side, just like this. And now it's his turn to come across the sneaker tongue and down into the corresponding eyelet here. Like that, making sure that we have another bar. Then we're gonna pop this out of the way, go back to this one, bring it into the next eyelet up from the bottom. And then we're gonna bring it across the sneaker tongue And doing this method means that all of the bars should come out the same, similar sizes and lengths, looking quite nice. And we're going to pop this lace out of the way, bring back the other one, and bring it up into the next eyelet. And again, just repeating the pattern, take it across the sneaker tongue. Just like that switch back to the other lace, bring it up to the next eyelet, across the sneaker tongue, down to the next eyelet. Now I like to stop here and just adjust everything, making sure it's all looking nice and straight, and the bars are looking crisp. Then we'll put this lace out of the way, switch back to the other one, bring it up, into the final eyelet just like this and then down into this eyelet here to make our final bar now i'm going to show you what to do with these excess laces what i like to do is just tuck them under the sneaker tongue and then i like to create a little bow And then I just go ahead and tuck that under the sneaker tongue out of sight, which creates a really crisp look. I find the bow doesn't bother the top of my foot inside the shoe and it works just well. Repeat the steps on the other Air Force One and you'll have a pair of really cool looking bar laced Air Force Ones. If you found the info in this video helpful, it would be awesome if you could hit the like button and help it reach more people. Thank you.